Alhamdulillahi wa kafah wa salatu wa salamu ala ibadihi alladhin astafa khususan ala afdalihim wa khatamin nabiyyin Muhammadin al-amin wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'in wa ba' Fa'a'udhu billahi minal shaytanir rajim Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Wa nazzalna alayka al-kitaba tibiyanan likulli shay Wa hudan wa rahmatan wa bushra lil muslimin Sadaqallahul azim we praise Allah and glorify Him. And we beseech Him this night most humbly for His guidance and for His blessings and for His protection. As we attempt to address the subject beyond September the 11th attack on America, the future of the Muslim Ummah and we pray for peace and for blessings on all his noble messengers and in particular on the last of them all the blessed Prophet Muhammad sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam I would like to take about one hour of speaking time because tonight I would much more I will be much more interested in your writing to me all the questions you have and not just your questions, your thoughts, your comments. Hmm? So that tonight is not only my lecture to you, it's also your feedback because one man can't handle this subject. <laughs> it is the collective thoughts and the collective wisdom and wherever I have traveled in the world and Allah has been so kind, you'd be amazed to know the number of places I've gone. I've invariably benefited from my audiences. I've learned so much from my audiences. We begin in Allah's blessed name. The ayah of the Quran, of course, Surah An-Nahla, I always begin with this ayah. And we sent down the Quran sent down the book, the Qur'an on thee, O Muhammad alayhi salatu wasalam, that this Qur'an might explain all things. And therefore that this Qur'an might explain the strange world in which we are living today. It's not just politically strange. With its political globalization, moving in the direction of world government, and a tomorrow when the United Nations will disappear. It's not only strange in its economy, moving in the direction of globalization of an economy, a world economy, in which one people will now enslave all of mankind. It's not only strange in respect of the emergence of one way of life, one culture. I call it the Blue Jeans Jamaat. Everybody living the same way. Everybody having the same diseases around the world. Being born the same way, being dying the same way, being buried the same way around the world. It's not only strange in terms of what is happening to mankind, but what is happening to the environment, the earth. Around the world. The same thing, which is why they had that conference in what used to be called Johannesburg, now it's Igoli. Houting. The Johannesburg World Summit. But in addition to this, there's also something else strange happening. And that is a confirmation of the hadith. The Prophet said, sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam, and you take this hadith home with you tonight as you ponder the issues. He said, Sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam, Bada'a al-Islamu gharibaan wa sayaudu gharibaan. When Islam began, it was something strange and therefore different from everything else in the world. 
And Islam will one day return to that state of being something strange and different from everything else in the world. And we are now living in this age in which Islam, not part-time Islam, <laughs> no, we're talking about the Islam of Muhammad sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam, that Islam. That Islam is becoming something stranger and stranger. Something different from the rest of the world. Different from that globalized political order. Different from that globalized world economy. Different from that globalized culture or way of life. Like a square peg in a round hole. But not for Islamic modernism. I don't know whether you've ever met it. A strange creature called Islamic modernism. It was very, very, it was, it was, it was alive and very well uh, healthy in, in, in Malaysia. <laughs> until a great axe fell upon it a few years ago. I warned them, but they wouldn't listen to me. Islamic modernism, of which my teacher, Maulana Dr. Muhammad Fadlur Rahman Ansari Rahimahullah warned, and his book is downstairs, the best book on Islam, in my opinion, ever written in the English language is his two-volume work, The Quranic Foundations and Structure of Muslim Society. My teacher, a blessed memory, is downstairs. Islamic modernism, an attempt to reinterpret the religion, to subject Islam to a, <clears throat> a progressive interpretation so that it can fit in with the modern world, so that America can sit down and have dinner with Islam. <laughs> so in the United States, while I was there, I saw this strange version of American Islam emerging from a large section of the African-American Muslim community. An American version <laughs> of Islam <laughs> that America would be comfortable with and sit down and have dinner with this Islam. Islamic modernism trying to make Islam to be in harmony with the modern world. But the Islam of Muhammad sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa sallam is today becoming what it was at the time when it emerged. Something gharib, something strange, something different. Having said that, I don't need to, this, to deliver the rest of the lecture. Because you now can understand the analysis which follows. And there are many opinions that you now have to discard and throw it into the garbage.